Well, hello everyone, it's Andrea and I'm doing exactly what I said I wasn't going to do again before Christmas and I'm going to be doing a colouring book haul and supplies and it's Black Friday's fault I mean, I would have bought some colouring books, one or two here and there but I wouldn't, there's just something else I bought that's massive so, well not massive but um, I didn't think I'd ever be able to get or at least not for a long time so I'll go through the books first and then I'll go through the little supplies. Where I can, I will leave a link below in the description for these items. If it's an Amazon link, the chances are it is going to be an Amazon affiliate link because I am an affiliate. So if you purchase any of the items that are linked via Amazon by clicking on the links provided, I will get a small commission. It doesn't cost you anything. just helps um, with uh, keeping the channel going, any any monies made will be spent on supplies, mostly probably colouring books for this channel. So but the first two items aren't from Amazon at all. Um, I picked up two of the Colour in Heaven uh, colouring magazines. Um, I got one in Tesco and one in WH Smith, so I was lucky. So the first one I got was the Christmas special. It's a bit shiny in here, isn't it? So, And this features Selena Fennec, Mary Tanana, Ruth Sanderson, and of course the ones that they put in for, um, that's done by one of their, Jenny Cook, the creative director, she makes them up. So that's a Selena Fennec one. This is a Mary Tanana one. The Ruth Sanderson ones you've seen because I've already got the Ruth Sanderson book, but I thought I would use it for testing and practicing and then at the back you've got the ones by Jenny Cook which most of them are to do with Christmassy songs so if you have a quick look you've got I'll just pick a page Naughty or Nice Four Calling Birds so lines from very various uh, Christmas songs so there's that one and I also got the new one, which only came out this week, which is the Woodland Fantasy Special. And this features the art, art of Adele Lorraine. And these are lovely. Look, there's a subscription thing. Lots of different pictures. I love people. I love colouring people. So I might do a complete flip through of this one later if you like. The next one you've already seen on this channel, and that is Edward McNamee's A Tin and Olek. I've done a full flip through of this, so if you want to have a look, I'm not going to have a look at it now because we've already done it, just go and have a quick look at uh, my videos and you'll see a full flip through. Grace at Grace's Karen Corner has also done a full flip through, as have several other people, so there's plenty of uh, content about this book out there. I will be colouring in this book on, Friday, on the weekend for the colouring Cozy Colouring Evening, which is the second Cozy Colouring Evening, hosted by uh, Sammy at, Col at Colouring Chat with Sammy, who's in the UK, and Jen with Reading with Pugs um, in the US. So they do two live streams. Um, Sammy will do one at 6pm, which is UK, which is Greenwich Mean Time, and Jen will do hers at 6pm Eastern Standard. So. Eastern Standard is around 11pm over here, so last time I managed to stay up and watch them, I watched them both, which was really nice, just to sit around and chat to people. I didn't colour much, I must admit. Another book I got is the Lacey Sunshine's Oz Colouring Book, Volume 15, illustrated by Heather Valentin. I love anything to do with Oz, and I love the cutesy pictures in this book. I do have another one of the Lacey Sunshine books, which is the Halloween one. So I thought I would get the Oz one because I'm going to collect Oz books. And in fact, Creative Haven have an Oz book coming out next year, which I've already pre-ordered. And the last colouring book. Yes, there's only this last one. I saw on somebody's channel. And that's the Sweet Shop colouring book, which opens upways and not sideways. And I got this because of one specific picture, which I probably won't be able to find now. I love that. Love hearts. I love love hearts. And there are some lovely chocolate money. Was this one with the Cadbury signs and everything. There's even one page of Blackpool Rock. So I might, I'll probably do a full flip through of this at some point for you. So do keep an eye out on that one. They also have the Curiosity Shop colouring book, which I haven't got, but I will be getting later because I just, I just love this. I think this is fantastic. 
Okay, so on to supplies. So the first supplies thing I bought is uh, just a small pencil case and literally just to put the gel pens in that I'm using at any one time. So for instance, I've been using the glitter gel pens on Ivy and the Inky Butterfly title page. So I, and I get fed up of trying to search for them with the rest of the glitter, without the rest of the gel pens, because they're all mixed up. So I bought a pencil case, I thought every time I'm using the gel pens, I can just put the ones I'm actually using in there and, and separate them out. I also bought a 24 pack of the Crayola, Crayola Super Tip Felt pens or marker pens. I just wanted to see what they were like, um, mostly for doing uh, the Kaleidoscope colouring book I've got and some of the, mandal the bigger mandalas. I have used these, that's why they're not in the right order in the box because I can't bother to put them back in. And um, yeah, I really like them. They're very vibrant colours. I'll definitely get them again. They were only £4.50 for the 24, so I'm quite happy. Again, like I said, there'll be a link for this below um, so you can purchase it from Amazon. And the main reason for this haul is Black Friday happened. And on Black Friday week, Amazon had the Faber Castell Polychromos on offer. So that's my big computer clicking in the background that you can hear. Um, so I bought the 120 set. Now, this is normally priced at around £120 in the UK. And while it was at £120, I thought, no, I'm not buying them. It's too much for me. I can't afford them. However, Black Friday week, they went down to £79.99. So I picked them up then. They did go down to £70 at one point. But I'm quite happy to pay £79 for them because it's still down around £35 to £40. As you can see, some of them are a bit shorter than the others. I have been using them. I'm really, I just love feeling the pencil. And I have been using them and I'm really enjoying them. In fact, I'm currently using them on the puppy picture in Jane Summer's colouring, Christmas colouring book. So if you've been watching my vlog, you'll have seen pictures of that. That's all been done with polychromos at the moment. I haven't used anything else. So again, although these are expensive, I will leave a link to them down below in the description box. So this is what I've got in the last, since the last haul. I'm going to try not to buy any more. I've got to be honest, I go into a shop and look at the current books and Paul says, you've got enough current books, which is fair enough. I have got a lot. I've got about 80 now. But when I do, did my big Christmas order from Amazon, the only book I ordered was The Sweet Shop. And I said to him, oh, I've ordered loads, I've spent a fortune on Amazon, but it's all Christmas presents. Oh, except for one colouring book, which I ordered for me, which was the, called The Sweet Shop. And he said, well, good, you got something for yourself. So I don't think he minds me buying stuff as long as I don't buy horrendous amount of stuff. But like I said, as long, as long as the bills are paid, it's a great hobby. It's nice and relaxing. I was sitting up in bed colouring last night. I wasn't tired. Just sat there and coloured for a while. It's better than watching things on your mobile phone and all that stuff that can get your brain active. It's a nice way of relaxing. So those are the new additions to the colouring collection for Andrea's Attic. I hope you've enjoyed this. I don't know whether I'm getting any colouring supplies for Christmas. There are some items in my Amazon wish list, which I am not looking at at the moment. The reason being is that my mum and my brother order stuff from my Amazon wish list for Christmas. Paul just buys me whatever. I have no idea what Paul's got me. Um, um, so yeah, I've got no idea, but there will not be a haul until after Christmas now. That is it. I'm not spending any more money. If I do, it'll be one item and I'll haul it after Christmas when we get into the next lot of uh, purchases, which is mostly books. I've got all the pencils I need. I might try and get um, another pack of the Crayola Super Tips. I might get the bigger pack because I really like them. And you'll see some stuff that I've done with them in my... Uh, completed colouring pages. So that is it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, if uh, you want to see anything in more depth, please let me know. If you want to see me colour with the polychromos, I will happily do that. I will do a flip through of the new Colouring Haven book and, and the sweet shop. I have done one for the Oz book. I just haven't posted it yet. So that will be up fairly shortly. And I will see you all soon. Happy colouring people. Bye now. Oh, I just remembered. I also I also bought some sickles. So I forgot to tell you that I bought some sickles. So I got the cranberry, which is a lovely red, and I got another gold because it's Christmas. I've been using those of them, and I also got the ice sickles um, in 
grape ice. So these ice ones are actually bigger than the normal ones if you look. So there's this slight different, and it's harder to squeeze them out as well. So I just thought I'd tag that on the end, I bought some stickles as well. So that definitely is everything for this haul, and I'll see you soon. Bye now.